how do we set up a custom subdomain? So people host their domain name somewhere, like Enom is one, or at GoDaddy, or there's all there's other places, there's C panels. We're gonna look at, at a couple examples real quick. They all have very similar settings. And this is what's kind of tricky is sometimes you're gonna be helping a client and you're a little bit unsure of exactly how it is, but there's gonna be something about managing domains. And if we pick one of these domains, I'm actually gonna use this one. This is a bogus one that my wife uses. So I'm gonna click on here and it's down here under host records. So I can come down here under host records. And if I want to set something up, I can set up something that's called, um, uh, you know, kicks. And I can just point it to, you know, some IP number, right? I don't even know what is a good IP number. I can do that. When you have an A address, you're actually changing um, the name into an, an IP address. But you can see there's a C name set up here for www actually redirects to this domain. And this is what we set up. We actually set up a domain, so kicks, and we always set this up on these custom subdomains. It should go to subdomains.idxbroker.com. So I'm gonna save this. And this is actually might work. It might break because subdomains.idxbroker.com doesn't know that we're trying to get to them. But if I open a new window and I put in kicks.cafevos with an S, and, some, and typically when you update these servers, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes for these changes to come into effect. And there's some servers that are really slow and it can take them hours. But when I type in kicks, look at that. Or just sends us over to IDX broker because of the, the way that's set up. So um, that's basically how you set up a C name there. A more common thing that we'll see is clients have a C panel. Even on GoDaddy, it looks kind of similar to this. And you have to kind of fiddle through here and you can see the things. And we want something like this. It says records or zone editor. So here I'll click on the zone editor for this. Um, you know, this is kind of confusing. It looks like I can add a C name record. So uh, this is my son's website. This is why you don't want to do free hosting with me because then I go in there and hose all your stuff up later. But we're going to add it also kicks on his. And we're going to redirect that subdomains.idxbroker.com. And just like that, it's added uh, that for him. So now we go to kicks.utahbim.com. Well, that one didn't work. I don't think it's, it's updated yet. Uh, did I type this thing right? Here. And here it is down at the bottom. And like I say, sometimes it just takes a little minute. Now my computer has recorded, the browser's recorded, and probably my router has recorded that kicks.utahbim.com um, is, is bogus. And so it just, it just may not work the rest of the time I try to set this up. But you know, maybe if somebody types it in on their browser, if I can come over here and verify it. So this is what we use this for. Um, well, you can see that this one doesn't say anything about IDX broker. It has all that numbers and all that business there. So we're not going to worry about that, but let's check Cafe Vos that we did earlier. And you can see here that it says aliases. And one of those aliases is subdomains.idxbroker.com which means it's set up correctly. And um, I mean, I guess that's all we need to see is just that right there. And until this other one sets up that way, it just won't, it won't work. This is GoDaddy, which is what probably 80% of our clients use. It should be under here under DNS. I would go to manage zones. When you hit zones, uh, it should give you something 
with a list of domain names. So it should say scottrogers.com or uh, you know, realtycandy.com. This is our Realty Candy account at GoDaddy and we have no domains there. So nothing's gonna work. So you know, normally you would just find your domain here and there'd be some buttons you have to click around and kind of fight your way through it. This is Chris Bartholomew and nwarealtygroup.com. We just saw them come in back here on their account under details. Um, there's an option to set up a custom subdomain, right? I mean, IDX Broker sets it up to be nwarealtygroup.idxbroker.com. But once we've set up that homes.nwarealtygroup, or in our case, we could have put kicks, right? Since that's what we were doing today for those. Then IDX Broker, their server knows to look for that when it comes in there. And instead of kicking them to this page, it's actually going to, oh, it updated it, didn't it? We don't want that. I didn't even save that change. But th these have to, this has to coincide with um, whatever we're putting in here. So it has to change. We have to set up the C name and we have to change that setting in the IDX broker dashboard. 